And the family of a man who was shot and killed during a traffic stop in Camden County in October is suing the deputy who pulled the trigger. 53-year-old Leonard Cure spent more than 16 years in prison for a crime it ended up he did not commit. He'd been free about three years when he was killed, and his death sparked national outrage. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker has been following this case. She was there with Cure's family and attorneys and brings us details of the lawsuit. Attorneys for Leonard Cure's family say the scenery has changed. Where they would normally be in Camden County fighting this case, they came to Brunswick to file a federal lawsuit. They say this is how they're putting in work to get justice for Cure. And get this, the lawsuit is not just against Deputy Buck Aldridge, they're coming for the sheriff too. The lawsuit says Deputy Aldridge acted with malicious intent to harm Cure. They say he unjustifiably used his taser and used more force than necessary ultimately contributing to his death. It also lists the deputy's history where he was given warnings on use of force and was fired for violating use of force policies at another police department. As far as Sheriff Jim Proctor, the lawsuit alleges he knowingly refused to terminate employees who violated people's constitutional rights. Attorneys say Cure's case isn't an isolated incident considering the deputy's history. Cure's mother says she stands by her son even without ever seeing the video of the traffic stop. I don't want to see it, but I know my son. My son would have been compliant. He would have been compliant. He would have followed the rules. He did it for 17 years. So you're going to tell me in a couple of hours he wouldn't? That's crazy to think that. But I don't care what he did. He took my son's life, and somebody needs to pay for that. Somebody needs to pay. Money doesn't mean a damn thing to me. Give me my son back. Mm. Give me my son back. I did those 17 years with him. When they killed my child, I died with him. Damn, how many times are you going to kill me? And coming up tonight on News for Jax at 6, we'll show you the cases where attorneys say created a culture of where unnecessary use of force and violence by deputies is okay. In Brunswick, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.